As the famous line goes, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and I believe this to be true for any form of art. While a painting may have a significant meaning, it can also hold individual meaning to the viewer. Whether art is detailed and chiseled or minimalistic, it holds such power in the context of society. Art is a beautiful creation that brings emotions and moments in history to life and to remain timeless. That being said, I chose two paintings that evoke a feeling of beauty and empowerment for me. The first piece I chose to discuss is The Bathers by Pierre-Auguste Renard, which was painted sometime between 1918 and 1919. The second painting I chose is Five Girls from Guatachingueta by Emiliano di Cavalcanti, which was painted in 1930. While both of these paintings are significantly different, they both highlight the differences all women have and they are a beacon for empowerment. The colors in The Bathers by Renoir are much more subtle and muted. The painting is almost dreamlike. In this painting, there are a total of five women, two of which take the focal point. The two that take the focal point seem to be daydreaming while sunbathing. The two women are curvaceous and their bodies seem relaxed while laying on what appears to be a soft blanket of grass. This painting is culturally significant because these women are portrayed in a realistic way without unrealistic body norms. Not only that, but the women seem comfortable in their skin while they are lounging. The colors and strokes Renoir uses create a sense of tranquility and it portrays the women as being delicate, which strengthens the message behind the painting. Since Renoir was an impressionist painter, there's a large focus on light in his painting. This is one particular this one in particular has a soft light that seems to be gleaming on the bodies, which creates a sense of illumination. The soft light creates a beauty around the nude bodies and makes them look beautiful and bold, which is one of the reasons I chose this. I am very much for women empowerment, and I think Renard's painting of the bathers captures a beauty behind women with different bodies, which is still a relevant topic to this day. By using small, multicolored strokes, he evoked the vibration of the atmosphere, the sparkling effect of the foliage, and especially the luminosity of a young woman's skin in the outdoors. Cognac. Renard's painting evokes a positive and uplifting feeling with the atmosphere he creates for the viewer. It makes you feel as if you are in the painting, soaking in the sun with the powerful women. The Musée de Orsay stated that Renard's painting was inspired by the lifestyle of the Greeks, when the earth was a paradise of the gods. Citation Musée de Orsay. The sen the sensuality of the women gives an homage to the Greek and Italian lifestyle by romanticizing the experience of the sun, of sunbathing by a lake on a warm summer's day. Although Renoir painted several other pieces of art, the Musée d'Orsay states that nudes were his favorite to paint. Another significant fact about this painting is that it was actually Renoir's last painting, so it can be looked at his final testament to the world of art since he died in 1919, the same year the painting was released. The next painting I will be discussing is Five Girls from Guatachinguera, which was painted by Emiliano G. Cavalcanti in 1930. I absolutely love the vibrance of this painting along with the different shapes he uses to illuminate the women. There are five women in this painting, all of which look entirely different. Something I noticed in a lot of European artwork is that when multiple women were pictured, they all looked very similar, which is why D. Cavalcanti's painting stuck out to me. C. Cavalcanti was influenced by neoclassical and romantic painting styles influenced by Greece, but with a Brazilian twist. He was influenced by artists like Picasso, which is why his paintings are so vibrant and slightly abstract. There's a large focus on line work, where every line appears to be more straight versus being curvy. He focused largely on Brazilian culture with his bright colors and clothing articles. One of the main reasons I love this painting is the way the women are portrayed. They are wearing bright, beautiful colors, and the look on their faces is bold and confident. The woman who's looking straight forward has a pretty stern look in her face, which almost makes her appear unfazed. To me, this shows that the women are being unapo unapologetically themselves, which is so empowering. The vibrant colors remind me of Brazilian carnivals which I have seen on TV and are truly a statement. Although the two paintings I chose to discuss are stylistically different, I think the importance of the women shown is significant to society. Both artists chose to emphasize the beauty that women hold, whether they are fully clothed or nude. I think empowering women through art is important, especially to show them as individuals and not just as objects which historically women have been viewed as. 
The way both Renoir and De Cavalcanti romanticize the women doing daily activities is incredible because the focus is on the women and their beauty and not what men want to see. Renoir's painting is dreamy and delicate, while De Cavalcanti's painting is bold and ties his culture together. However, they are both important pieces of society because the bigger picture is that they are both empowering women and showing that they can be bold in their beauty.